Okay, um, so we finished boring the rear cylinder, um, but there is a little bit of corrosion and just dirt buildup um, from sitting for so many years. So I'm going to take a brass um, wire brush in my Dremel and just clean it up. Um, a little bit of corrosion is not a big deal, um, but I do like my engine to look shiny. So um, just kind of clean it up, give it a good clean, and then we can put it on the case. have to hone out the rear cylinder so um, there is going to be um, a good bit of variation in the ring gap. Um, so that is a very small gap. Um, so I'll open it up and then we'll check again with the fuel gauges to see how much more we need to open it, if any. Again, it's better to take off too little and have to come back than to take off too much. Um, rings are cheap, but still, nobody likes to spend more money than they have to. Again, come back with our 22 thousandths fuel gauge, and it will not fit. Um, again, just check and see what your current gap is to see how much you'll need to take off. That looks about 12 thousandths, so. I'll take off about 10 thousandths more um, to just make sure that our ring gap is inspected. Okay, now that we've got the pistons on, um, you'll need to get your cylinder base gaskets, which come in your um, gasket kit, um, and then you can just drop those on. Um, make sure they sit flat. And make sure that your surface is clean and that your gasket's clean. From there, I'm going to rotate the crank so that the pistons are about halfway through their stroke, um, just to make it easier to get the cylinders on. Um, there are pins in the piston um, that help line up your rings. Um, and before you put the cylinder on, you have to make sure that your ring gap surrounds that pin um, or else your pistons won't go into the cylinder. So just line your studs up and Just give your rings a squeeze, making sure that um, they are in fact around the pin in the piston. Um, double check and make sure that your bottom ring is around the pin and then squeeze it. Um, and then your cylinder should drop right on. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, now I'll do the same thing 
making sure that our rings are lined up with the pins. Line the studs up, squeeze the pins, or the, uh, excuse me, rings. And then the cylinder will fall right into place. Sometimes, as you saw earlier, um, it takes a little bit of force. Don't use a hammer or anything. Um, if you need a hammer, then your rings probably aren't lined up with your pins. Again, just squeeze your rings, making sure that they are um, lined up with the pin and your piston. Double checked at the bottom is lined up. And then you can push your sonar on. Just like that. Um, now we're ready for heads. Um, and then before we do that, we will have to put our head gaskets on. So the head gasket is just a thin piece of aluminum in this case um, that will go between the jug and the head. Um, it doesn't matter which one you put it on, both cylinders and heads are identical. Um, in some cases, they use O-rings. In this case, they do not, um, but yes. So just drop this under right down, um, and then, or excuse me, cylinder head. Um, and now we're ready for the nuts and spark plugs. 